hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, first off, this is for Anderson. Anderson, uh, you've already said that you know you want to do this. You you wanted to test yourself. Should you win or you know make a good account of yourself? Uh, do you have plans going forward in fighting, or is there a chance you go back to MMA after this? Uh, that's the that's everything is possible, you know. But right now, I just uh, um, I keep straight my focus for this fight right now, and keep my mind in this challenge and let's go see because the future is amazing you know the life is beautiful and i just working hard for this moment right now and when this done i go check it out everything and make the the new step okay o obrigado y, y boa suerte obrigado y julio esto es para usted um Muchos han tenido diferentes respuestas a esta pelea, unos buenos, unos malos. ¿Qué tienes que decir a los críticos que han hablado mal de esta pelea? Uh, there's, there, there's a lot of critics on this fight. What do you, uh, what's your opinion on the critics that, that uh, about this fight and you fighting an uh, MMA fighter? Siempre critican las cosas buenas. Este es un gran espectáculo, una gran pelea. Una pelea interesante, eh, que tiene todos los ingredientes para hacer una pelea muy buena. Así que la gente quiere espectáculo y la pelea lo tiene todo. No this tiene fight que have, Muchas this, gracias y buena suerte también. This fight is going to have the spe spectacle that everybody is looking for. Um, there's always going to be critics. Um, I, I see this as being a, a, a huge fight, an exciting fight, uh, a fight that people need to watch. And... Uh, and I, I, I can't wait. Next up, we have Alejandro Ramirez. Unmute your line. Uh, this question is for Anderson. And for getting ready for this fight, is your a full boxing fight? Or did you bring a coach or any any boxing trainer to just focus in boxing? Yeah, yes. I start uh, 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 three months ago uh, with. The, the best coach here in, in LA and in Brazil too. And uh, yeah, I have a good team to help me. And uh, the people have a lot of experience as professional boxer. And yeah, it's a and, very good team. And since you've been training boxing, what has been the biggest difference between boxing and UFC getting prepared for this fight? So in boxing, you can, you just using your hands and you keep your footwork. You know, MMA, you can, you, you need to use in the footwork and you train jujitsu and the different disciplines, the martial arts disciplines, you know, it's completely different. Okay, thank you. And for Julio, um, your dad has announced that this is going to be his last exhibition. How special is this event that you'll be a part of? that your brother and yourself is fighting on your dad's last fight or last exhibition. Anunció tu papá que va a ser su última pelea, su última exhibición. Y no más, ¿qué significa? Significa participar en el mismo evento con tu hermano y tu papá. Siempre participar en un evento de mi papá para todos los boxeadores. Y para mí como hijo, pues es una... Un orgullo, pues, verlo a su edad, hacer lo que está haciendo. Eh, es una noche especial y, y, y yo, pues, espero que, que, que se retire. Ya se retiró, pues, pero que se retire de las exhibiciones viéndome ganar. Es lo que él quiere y, y espero, espero concedérselo ese día porque creo que un día después, el día 20, es día de padre para regalarle eso de, de regalo. Well, I, I, uh, it's gonna be, I know it's my dad's last event. It's gonna be very special. Um, you know, to see my dad uh, just participate in the, in the event itself, me being his son, it would be special just for another boxer in general. But, you know, also seeing my dad fighting at his age, uh, just doing, doing what he's doing. Um, it's going to be just a really special night. I mean, I hope my dad retires. I, I know he already retired, but but retires from the exhibitions. 
And uh, what I want to do is give my dad a, a victory because I know that's what he wants more than anything, even for his own fight. And the next day, uh, if, we, if you guys didn't know, it's Father's Day. So it wouldn't be anything more special than to give my dad a Father's Day gift. And that would be a victory against Silva. Thank you, uh, Danny Segura.